Hello everyone. Now next point is gradient of scalar. First of all, uh, what is gradient? Gradient A uh, tells the maximum rate of change uh, of function at particular point. That is the nothing but the gradient. So, how we find the gradient is uh, we will look here. Let us say f is any scalar function and this is the it is a del it is this symbol it is called del. Del f is the gradient of f that represents gradient that is why we are using that symbol and del f is a uh, vector operation or it is a del operator which we use it to represent gradient of a scalar and how we represent it this is how it we represent it del f is equal to del del y uh, del by del x into i del by del y into j and del by del z into k. So, gradient of scalar this is given by this is nothing but simply we will be multiplying this with this one. This is a del and this is a, uh, along with a function f because f is any scalar function that we have considered it. So, del and f we are going to put it together. So, it will give you something like this. So, if you see here with this one we have just put f everywhere over here so that we got a gradient of f. So, where f is a scalar point function. So, this is simply the gradient of a given scalar this is how we get it. So, when we find gradient of any scalar function what we get is is a normal normal vector to the surface normal means it is a perpendicular to the given surface that is what we are going to get it. And if you have noticed here this quantity uh, the, which we are getting after finding the gradient of scalar function we get it a vector. This quantity which we are getting is is a vector because if you see here it is i cap is there, j cap is there and k cap is there which is telling you the directions of x, direction in x, y and z axis. So, remember that if you take a gradient of any scalar quantity you will be getting vector quantity. So, this is how we get find the gradient uh, of any given scalar function. So, now uh, I have taken here one question. So, it will be clear for you how to take a gradient or find a gradient of a given scalar function. So, here find the unit vector which is perpendicular to the surface of paraboloid of revolution z is equal to x square plus y square at point 1 to 5. तो यहाँ पे एक क्वेश्चन लिया है मैंने z एक इक्वेशन लिया हुआ है एंड एट द पॉइंट वन टू फाइव आई वांट टू फाइंड अ यूनिट वेक्टर ऐसा भी यूनिट वेक्टर जो कि परपेंडिकुलर हो उस सरफेस के लिए सो नाउ व्हाट वी कैन डू इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द गिवन इक्वेशन आई विल राइट इट इन द प्रॉपर फॉर्मेट लाइक ऑल द क्वांटिटीज एक साइड पे मैंने ले लिया एंड आई हैव यूज्ड द सिंबल phi uh, to represent the equation of that particular surface. So, phi is equal to x square plus y square minus z simply by transforming. So, I have created the equation of surface that way so that I can use it for further calculation. Now, we have to find if you look at the question we have to find perpendicular to the first we have to find the unit vector perpendicular to the surface. We have seen that after taking gradient of any scalar function whatever we get it that is a unit uh, that is a vector and that is a normal to the surface normal is again the same like a perpendicular to the surface. And same thing they are asking you find the perpendicular unit vector for the given surface at particular point the point has been given to you as a 1, 2 and 5. So, let us say start finding gradient so that we will find normal vector to the normal yani perpendicular vector. So, here I have a gradient I will start taking gradient of uh, given surface which I have uh, I put it as a phi equation I surface ka given uh, surface ka equation I phi k by using phi I have represented it. So, here I have first of all we will see gradient and nikale ge. gradient matlab uska del operator ke saath hum usko multiply karna. Uh, we will start taking so, this is the value of del op operator 
if you remember in the previous slide we have seen this this is the first bracket is for this del operator and phi is the uh, equation of given surface which I put it in the this bracket x square plus y square minus z ab iske baad hum kya karenge we will start uh, simply uh, like uh, ek bar iske saad uh, del x ke saad then we will take uh, product with this one then with along with y the same whole bracket del y del y of this whole bracket and now with respect to z we will be starting uh, differentiating with this. So, here since we are differentiating with respect to x, uh, these quantities y and z will become 0. So, only 2x a jayega. Yaha pe y ke saath represent, uh, we are partially differentiating with respect to y. So, sirf x aur z ka to 0 ho jayega, only we will get 2y. And yaha pe z ke respect, with respect to hum kar rahe to sirf z ka hi ho jayega uh, partial differentiation minus 1 and the other 2x z x y will become 0. So, finally, I will get normal vector jo ki a chuka hai 2 x i plus 2 y j minus k. So, after finding the gradient of given scalar function, we got this normal vector which is a perpendicular to the given surface and agar aap dekhenge to isme i j aur k bhi hai to ye vector quantity hai. Uh, now, in the question, if you notice, they have asked you uh, matlab point uh, unit vector which is perpendicular to surface or a point bhi diya ja chuka hai, jo ki hai 1, 2 and 5. So, we need to put plug in these values of x, y, z of this given uh, uh, point in this equation which we have received here. Jo ki yaha pe usi equation ko hum leke aage usme substitute ke lenge x or y or z ki values. So, uh, here pe x ki jaga mane 1 lag diya, uh, y ki jaga 2 and z is not there. So, uh, no question. So, after simplification then this is how we got it. This is a uh, normal vector at uh, point 1, 2, 5. Uh, question mein hume puchha ja chuka hai ki normal unit vector hume nikalna hai. Uh, so, we need to find its uh, magnitude also because uh, we need to divide by that. So, ye jo vector jo a chuka hai yaha par at point 1 to 5 normal vector that I have taken as a numerator jaysay vaysay le diya. Usko hum divide karenge uski magnitude ke saath. Magnitude kaysay ya, uh, nikalte aapko yaad hoga formula humne dekha hai pichli slide mein. Uh, under root of x square plus y square plus z square yaha pe x ki value jo hai 2 hai y ki value 4 hai aur z ki value minus 1 hai. Then uh, we just simply did the square of it added together by using the formula and taken the square root. So, this is what the normal vector uh, perpendicular vector perpendicular and unit normal unit vector to the given surface at point 1 to 5. This was the question which was asked. So, this is how we can uh, simplify it uh, and find the normal unit vector to the given surface. So, first of all you should know the uh, what is del operator, uh, what is uh, it is how we represent it and with that we have to uh, take a product with uh, given scalar function. It can, it wo to aapko diya hoaga hoaga question mein, aapko sif usko product le, lena hai dono ka uh, and then uh, they have, they might have given the point jo bhi point diya hai uske values aapko x y z ki plug in karna hai then you will get normal vector at that particular point aur unit vector jab nikalenge tab aapko magnitude ke sath divide karna hai jo mil jayega aapko normal unit unit vector at that uh, given surface or equation whatever it will be so uh, jo sare terms humne dekhe hain isme uh, those are all important uh, jaise ki humne dekhiye what is position vector how we represent it, uh, then the, what is gradient, then uh, where we use the gradient and if you want to find the gradient of any function, scalar function, uh, what is del operator, how we take a product of it. All these concepts should be clear because throughout the chapter we will be using this uh, position vectors, uh, then del operator, then finding gradient, throughout the chapter we will be applying those concepts. So, 
it should be clear and i hope it is clear uh, thank you